Hi there, welcome to Nantwich's Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode we're going to be going back over the pond to check out some bourbon. This time round we're going to be checking out something a little bit different. It's a micro distillery in New York, in Brooklyn, and it's the Kings County Distillery. I'm sure if you've heard of them at all you'll recognise this kind of bottle. It's a, a small bottle, it's 200ml. Um, I think in America you might get some 375 mils. They're kind of hip flask effect. Uh, little wee bottles, but they are a micro distillery who specializes in kind of craft distilling and they do bourbons, they do a couple of bourbons, that are a straight bourbon, they do a peated bourbon. This is the bottled in bond bourbon. Uh, they've got a barrel strength, a moonshine and some rye and some other stuff, you know, it's, they've got lots going on really. They opened in 2010. And this particular one is the bottled and bond. What that means is that it has to be distilled, uh, bottled at one distillery in one season, and then it needs to be aged in a kind of government controlled warehouse for a minimum of four years. I think this one is specifically four years. This whiskey is four years old and it is batch number four. This particular bottle was distilled in spring 2013 and bottled in spring 2017 and it is a 50% or 100 proof which is a, another rule for bottled in bond. It's kind of a way of letting the public know that it's got some stringent regulation over it. I mean bourbon is already quite stringent anyway but uh, back in the day, not so much these days but back in the day uh, straight bourbon now has got some specific rules attached to it but that wasn't really quite like it was back in the day so they could just label anything straight bourbon and any kind of pish was getting through so bottled and bond is just a kind of fancy way of saying this is definitely really really good and sticking to the rules and it's just a mark of quality today there's not actually that many bourbons that are in bottled and bond uh, there's actually a list on Wikipedia if you want to go and have a look. If you type in bottled and bond, you'll find it. It's it's a handful, maybe sort of 20, 30 different versions of of, uh, of bourbons that go through this process. And there's some other ones as well, I think brandy and stuff like that go in bottled and bond. But uh, let's talk about the liquid and see where we're at with it. Now, I did say that it was a small bottle. In the UK, uh, I'm not sure what you pay in America or anywhere else, but in the UK, a small bottle like this, the 200ml, will set you back 36 odd pound, 35 pound, which is, you know, that's getting on for sort of $50 for a little, a little wee thing like this. So if you scale it up a couple of times, it's, it's nearly 100 pounds for a full bottle, which is, it would have to be kind of super premium for that. But for my money, I'm kind of glad that they actually reduced the size of it. To, to this to make it affordable for people like me to try it because there's absolutely no way I would spend £100 on a kind of new unproven micro distillery. I, I just haven't got that sort of money. But although it's comparatively the same money, I can try it for less. So good idea by them. It's got an interesting mash bill. It's It conforms to the normal uh, like bourbon rules of at least 51% corn, but it's 60% corn and 40% malted barley, which is quite rare. That's uh, usually 5% malted barley goes into kind of bourbons and the rest is made up by rye or wheat or whatever. So it should be quite interesting. Let's uh, go in for a sniff and see what we get, shall we? Oh, on the nose, it's, it's like a super rich, creamy vanilla. It's in my head, it's really quite luxurious. For someone who's kind of used to scotch and was, uh, you know, I, I brought myself up on whiskey through scotch. To try the bourbons I've been trying has been exceptional. You know, forget your supermarket bourbons. You need to try some craft stuff. Let's try the palette. Now here's where it differs from kind of normal bourbons. And that's that barley influence coming through. Rather than being heated up by a rye or kind of mellowed out by a wheat, it's got this kind of 
tangy, sour notes to it, which is really weird because it also has that sweetness from the corn. It's, it is a very peculiar flavour, but in no way bad at all. It's just nice and interesting. It's very different and I like that. I think it tastes very well rounded considering it's got that kind of extra bit of kick into it somewhere. It's just enough to put you into it to kick start your thought processes, but it airs on the side of relaxing as well. So I know that the standard straight bourbon is a little less in ABV. So it may be worth trying that one first if you wanted to see what that was like. Um, I happen to have tried the whole range, but this is the only one I actually have in at the moment. Um, in fact, the peated bourbon that they do is really quite sublime. Um, I would recommend that to anybody who's even remotely interested in peat or bourbon. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I would call that recommended for sure. And they're quite a small distillery at the moment. They're, they're, another benefit of these small bottles is they manage to get themselves around the world a lot easier. You know, they can they can make three or four bottles of this for nearly every big bottle that they would have made in it otherwise. So they can send that to three or four more places, can't they? So definitely look out for them. These are quite easily available in the UK, but you might have to go on the internet to get them. I'm not sure what it's like in America. I assume it's great to get hold of stuff like this. Um, for the rest of the world, maybe not so much, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna start making a name for themselves rather soon. Well, thanks for joining me for the Kings County Bottled and Bond Straight Bourbon. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this and watching more of the playlists. And of course, if you do wish to support the channel, do click in the description below. There's links to other things like my Facebook and of course my Patreon where you can donate on a monthly basis. Thanks for watching.